All righty. Good morning, guys. Thank you for coming back in. We've got a few others that are rapidly signing up outside and coming back in. Unfortunately, we have to rush like this on these days. But uh, thank you for joining us. And of course, this training will is is being recorded and so it'll be available straight after this presentation anyway and it'll be under your tools menu on your app within about an hour after um, this presentation so if you miss it or if you've got people that you want to see it uh, and they've missed half of it or some of it or all of it that's fine later on today they can watch it so like i've said over the last week we are going to be looking this morning at fundamentals of channel building what you need to do to build channels of wealth with us at Dew Point and really make a permanent effort of changing your circumstances with us. So there's a whole lot of training on basics on how you can make a little bit of money on the side um, that we've got then. But if you're in this business to change your circumstances completely, well, then you need to get the fundamentals right if you're going to go long term with us. Now, before I continue, I can see a whole lot of you on the far side there. We're going to have lots of people trickling in. Don't you want to move across from me over here? You don't have to go against the wall. Just come and sit here somewhere for me so that we've opened the seats up on that side for the, the latecomers. Okay. Come have a seat. There we go. All right. Now, before I get into the um, actual stuff that I want to talk to you about this morning, there has been some breaking news this week that I really wanted to share with everybody and, and actually put up permanently for everybody to see. The breaking news... You'll, ha you, you'll have to have a look at it and tell me what you think is the breaking news. I'll tell you what I think the breaking news is. But nonetheless, this is our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, this Wednesday. All right. Now, I've put the whole thing up, so you can't really read the words I know. You can go and look online later on. But I wanted you to see that I wasn't making it up. I wanted to put the whole thing up so that you could see I wasn't making the stuff up. Okay. Um, many are going to lose jobs. All right. This is this Wednesday, July the 24th at 11 o'clock in the morning. That's this week. Okay. Now, you'll remember that before the presidential elections or the, or the, the, the elections this year, what were the promises being made? Oh, we're going to make jobs. And we voted the same guys in again, didn't we? Yeah, why? Because granddad voted and because uh, it's very sad. But nonetheless, so we had the same guys back in. And now the guys that said to you that we were going to make jobs, what did they say this Wednesday? Many are going to lose jobs. No, but it gets better. It gets better. Okay. Once again, this is a direct quote. Okay. This is, this is uh, the President Ramaphosa. Direct quote. Once again, our economy is in a crisis. Where have you heard these words before? Where have you heard these words before? So what do you think the breaking news is? The president is stealing my speeches. That's what the pre This is exactly what I have said for how many years now? Five. Nearly half a decade. I've been saying we are in crisis. Finally, the president has to admit it. How bad has it got when the president has said, okay, fine, fine, we're in a crisis. That's how deep in the crisis we are in the president is now saying once again our economy is in crisis when people come in here and think i'm marketing they really are not educated they're not no not educated they're not informed as to what's going on those that are informed know that south africa is in financial crisis that is a reality we're in financial crisis but he carries on he stole my speech you see so he carries on all right many more people are going to lose jobs said ramaphosa okay then he carried on. Here's the rest of the article. I kept it big so you can see I wasn't making it up. First sentence, he continued, and they'll lose jobs because of technology, globalization, climate change. That's all political speech. It's not true. In South Africa, we're not going to lose jobs for technology, globalization, climate change. It's not. We're going to lose a job now. Here comes the truth. And as a result of a whole number of challenges like low economic growth as we have seen in our own country. This one here, a whole number of challenges like low economic growth. I actually go into those details in another dev seminar. You want to know what the challenges are? What's happening, Michael? Come on. Guys, please, we are broadcasting live. Please, little respect. Now, if you want to know what all of those challenges are, then go to that development seminar called A Message That Demands To Be Heard. It's two or three down, and I will tell you exactly why we have low economic growth. They won't tell you, 
they don't want you to know, okay? Then in there we go into it. It's a factual discussion. It's not hidden. It's not secrets. If you go and Google what I put in there, you will see it's the truth. So this last part of his sentence is the truth. Low economic growth as a result of a whole bunch of challenges. True. So he said it. And what, how does he complete that sentence? Once again, our economy is in crisis. He says it twice. Twice. Then, corruption has steadily eroded the state capacity to meet people's needs and is worsening a trust deficit between government and the citizenry. We do not trust our government anymore. We don't. And it's getting worse as we watch them drive their Rolls Royces down Main Road, William Nickel, every Saturday morning and live in their 60, 80, 100 million rand houses on Mount Street and Cape Town, Clifton and all of that, while the rest of us get poorer every year. The trust deficit gets bigger. Okay. Local government, the coal face of service delivery, is debilitated by inefficiency, mismanagement, and poor resource allocation and management. This is a direct quote from our president. Our president got up on Wednesday and said, local government, you can see it's an in inverted commas, local government, the coal face of service delivery, is debilitated by inefficiency, mismanagement, and poor resource allocation and management. When your president says that about his own, his own business, his business, his company, his government. When he says this, I feel sorry for him. He actually inherited this. So I feel sorry for Cyril. He, he, it's like, unlucky, buddy. I'm going to Dubai. I'm going to my apartment in Dubai. I will see you later. Hey, yay. Okay. We find ourselves at a tipping point. This is a direct quote from our president. We find ourselves at a tipping point. He has stolen my speech. We are at the point, ladies and gentlemen, where the old no longer works. For 25 years we have proven that the old no longer works. Where worsening economic conditions are now accepted. I'm paraphrasing the last bit. He's now going, we're at the tipping point where worsening economic conditions are just, they're happening. They are going to get, things are going to get worse. It's just a given. Okay. Threaten to erode our hard-won gains. I'm not sure there have been any gains, but anyway, he's a politician, he has to say it. Said Ramaphosa. When people say to you, I need to go home and think about it, you need to ask them what they're going to go home and think about. When the president himself has said, guys, it's almost game over. Growing an inclusive economy is by far our greatest focus. We know that. Government has very much been focused on creating an, an inclusive economy. What is inclusive economy? It means that everybody, black, white, Indian, colored, can all be in the economy. Okay, great, fine. That's been their number one focus. We know that. It is a necessary condition. This is him speaking again. Although not necessarily sufficient on its own. So he says, growing an inclusive economy is not necessarily the solution to the problem we have. Now, I agree with him. And now, that's, that's very brave, wor brave words for him to say. And I take my hat off to Cyril. He's a brave guy because the people in his parliament are going to hang him for that. Because effectively he's saying, look guys, BEE won't solve this problem. It won't. Because what does BEE do? It chases away the skills, doesn't it? We've got business owners and doctors and accountants and engineers that leave because of BEE. If we keep them in, they build businesses. When they build businesses, they hire people. It creates jobs. But we've chased them away because we've said, I'm sorry, you're the wrong color. Do you see how we've just, we've just flip-flopped? We're still in apartheid. It just, we just swapped teams. You know? that's a, so it's all right. We'll get it right eventually. We'll eventually learn and we'll eventually get it right. Okay, so he agrees. He goes, guys, it's not necessarily the thing that's going to solve this problem for the creation of jobs and the reduction of poverty. It's not. This is our president speaking on Wednesday. I loved it. I went, finally, finally, I, what I've been saying is now being recognized. We are in financial crisis, ladies and gentlemen. And so this morning, we need to learn how to fix it. Because he himself is admitting, we don't know. If you read the rest of his article, he's now putting a team together. Because that's what they do. You put a committee together. We need to have a committee. Okay. And that committee's task will now be to try and work out how to turn the economy around. He doesn't have a solution. Yeah. yeah because there isn't one. You cannot turn our economy around with 6,600 pieces of legislation. You can't. And so he's got a big, big problem. And I said, I feel sorry for him. He's inherited this mess that he has to fix. And read the rest of the article. He says there, we're going to put a committee together to now to try and work out how to turn this around. Well, we don't have time because we will be the lost generation. 
which was what was said by the economists about a month ago. And we do not intend on being a lost generation. We now need to build wealth. And that's what we're going to be talking about this morning. Folks, we're going to talk about what you need to do. Not what your channel. Don't come to me and say, but Brendan, I had a wealth engineer this week say to me, but Brendan, I call my five front line and I beg them to go and put people in and they don't do anything. It's not about them. Wealth creation, channel building is about you. So this morning we're going to talk about what you should be doing. That means you can't sit back and do nothing. You've got to be doing at every stage of growing your channel and wealth with two point. That's what we're going to look at. Now, there's three things that we're going to look at this morning. It's the three pillars on which the entire dew point system were built. And they are personal activity, quality, and growth. Our entire system, as I will demonstrate to you this morning, was built on these three pillars. If you, sit, if you call Robin, when Rob and I sat on the 1st of August in 2015, and we sat down to build this model, I gave him the three pillars on day one. It was my first conversation with him. I said, this business is built off of personal activity. That means activity, your activity on the quality of the individuals you put in and on the ultimate growth that you get from those two first ingredients. And so those are the three agenda items we're going to look at this morning. If you want to succeed, you need to do and be doing these three things. Let's look at personal activity. That's that first pillar. Pillar number one, personal activity. Personal activity is fundamentally setting the example. If you want to become wealthy and build a successful channel, everyone's going to be looking at you. Everyone. Remember I've said to you, we don't do leaders at Dewpoint. I hate that term. No, my leader. I hate it. In Dewpoint, there's no leader. It's your asset. Every one of you that becomes a wealth engineer starts your very own asset. It does not matter what the person who connected you does. It's your asset. We are different. This isn't the IFA. This isn't Longridge. It's not KY Omega. It's none of these things. Okay. Those are fundamentally traditional network marketing, cash in transit, 6 to 12 months lifespan businesses. Okay. This is now wealth creation, which means it's yours. It's yours. You've got no leaders here at Dewpoint. And that means that you have to set the example. Whatever example your leader is setting is neither here nor there. Your channel will grow off of the success of your example that you set. When it comes to personal activity, the first example is personal introductions. What are the two ingredients? Time and numbers. If you are not putting numbers in, your channel will not put numbers in. You stop introducing people, your channel stops introducing people. You work for five minutes and then give up, your channel will work for five minutes and give up. But if you do the opposite, you're always connecting individuals, you'll find your channel will start introducing individuals. You put lots of time in, you'll find your channel will start putting lots of time in. You are the one that they are going to be following in your channel. We have got a development seminar on what to say to people. People will come to me all the time and you might say to me, Brendan, I want to do that, but I don't know what to say. Great, go and watch Prospecting, Inviting and Connecting Development Seminar. It's in your tools. Go and watch it today. I think it's three or four videos down. Go and watch it. And it will tell you what to say to people to get them connected. Because that's what I get. I'll say, you know, people come to me, Brendan, my channel's not growing. I say, but are you introducing people? No, I don't know how to introduce people. All right, so if you don't know how to introduce people, well then learn how to introduce people. We have the development seminar, go and do it so that you can do the personal introductions. Make sure you're doing it. There are five ways that you can connect people to us. So people go, but Brendan, I can't. But I wish you would come to our city because then, you know, you, if you had an office in our city, then I could sign people up. No, there are five ways to connect South Africans to Dewpoint. Five different ways. Oh, all right. Now you're looking all bewildered at me. Did you know there were five ways to connect? How, what are those five ways to connect? Okay. Well, the one is bring them to the office. Okay. That's not for everybody, but it's a one of the ways you can connect. Yeah, bring them to the office, to an introduction presentation. Okay. But what's the way that everybody can do? You can watch it live on YouTube. Live every day. Some of you are doing it, but you know that other people have got to get into the tech now. No, I don't know how to use YouTube. Learn how to use YouTube. Do you want to create wealth? Learn how to use YouTube and live stream in. What's the other way? We record all of our intro presentations onto YouTube. So it means that you don't have to watch it live. You can watch it any time of the day, anywhere in the country. But just going to YouTube, it's recorded. That's the third way you can do it. What's the fourth way you can connect people to us? <coughs> in your app. In your app. 
You've got two choices. Okay? One is the live, you just click the watch, but there is an intro presentation on your app. Did you know that? Some of you, the others are like, what? Where's my phone? There's an intro presentation. Yeah, it's in there. Tool swipe left. There's the intro presentation. Okay? And the fifth way of connecting people to Dewpoint is our USB sticks. Got the presentations on them. Five different ways. Here. So time and numbers for you. Are you using all five ways? Will your channel know about the five ways? Or are you doing what we see some channels doing? There's one guy with a smartphone. No one else has got a smartphone. He's brought in the people that don't have smartphones. And now he's like, no, 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 okay. We have to, everyone needs to watch on my phone. And the other people are not learning how to connect people to, to Dewpoint because they're all reliant on one guy, on the leader. <laughs> they're all reliant on the leader. Because they, and so what example is the leader setting for everyone else? The wrong example. You have got every way possible to connect South Africans to us. Every way. Use them. Show your team. And set the example. So they start doing the same thing for you. Our XP Rewards training has actually been designed so that you do personal activity and set the example. So what have I said before? At Dewpoint, we not only reward you for actual successful connections, we reward you the whole way along. We actually reward you for every step in the process. What does it look like on your app right now? What is it? The setting the example. Log in every day. Setting the example. Come to a launch workshop with us. Those are Saturdays at 11.30. You know those. You know we do them? That's setting the... If you come to the launch workshop, your team will come to the launch workshop. You don't come to the launch workshop. They're not coming. Okay? Setting the example. The Some of you are looking at me like you've never seen this before. No, no. What has your leader been showing you? This is just in your app right now. Just click the rewards button and scroll down. You will find it. These are the first steps. The very first steps in order from beginner to expert. Prospector. Put some prospects in your phone. Setting the example. Watching an introduction presentation. Watching a development seminar. Introducing somebody to Dewpoint by taking a prospect and showing them an introduction presentation. You're setting the example, okay? Getting yourself qualified. Put three people in. Three plus two. Do you remember that? Put the three people in. Get qualified. You're setting the example. I'm qualified. When are you getting qualified? Do you see? Taking your photo. There are so few people that take their profile photo. It's a thousand XP for you to take your, sel your selfie. Why are you not doing it? And why are you not getting your guys to do it immediately? You know that if every time you sign someone up and you get them to take the photo, your other guys will go, oh, okay, every time I sign someone up, I must get them to take a photo. Some of you are looking at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. Please go to your leader and ask them what I'm talking about. <laughs> take a, a profile photo in your app and you get a thousand XP for doing it. And everybody you sign up should always take their profile pic. Okay? It's very useful for you and for us. Get ranked up. Get to rank one. Four people in, 4,000 XP. And you go rank one. You get a 55 rand bonus, etc., etc. But when you rank up, the other guys will rank up. Set the example. Channel opener. Open an additional point in your channel. So by putting a first pointer in and getting him qualified. Remember? That's how you... So two will get you two points open. Three will get you three. The moment you start opening points in your channel, you are now demonstrating to the rest of your channel what they should be doing. You're setting the example. That is personal activity. Unless you are doing it, no one in your channel will be doing it. And we show you in our rewards program how to do personal activity. So when you say, Brendan, I don't know what to do, go to the rewards program and go step one, step two, step three, step four, step five. In order. In order, in order, in order. All right. That's your personal activity. Pillar number one. Make sure you are doing the work first and then the rest will follow. Pillar number two is quality. See, everybody thinks growth. Everyone's like, just want, I just want growth. Okay, growth is last. First is you and then quality. What is quality? Well, quality is actually both you and others. And we're going to talk about that th through those two categories. First of all, what we always, always have encouraged is peer-to-peer -peer introductions. Okay? Now, peer-to-peer -peer means you don't become a wealth engineer and then go, I know all these people that are unemployed. I'm going to get them in. Peer-to-peer -peer is when you go, I'm going to go to the guys I work with at work, the other managers, the other bosses, the other clerks, whatever they might be, and I'm going to get them into my channel. That's what your peer is. Your peer is your equal. Those are the people that you want to go to. We always say, invite always looking around and up. Jane says you want tall people at Dewpoint. You always want to be looking up at them. 
So you want your bosses. You want your, you know, people that are doing more successful than you. Why do you want successful people in? Well, because Dewpoint is for income earners to start with. When you bring income earners to Dewpoint, you're giving yourself a quality guarantee. These people have 249 Rand to buy their product every month. If you bring somebody in who can't rub together 249 Rand a month, how are they going to create wealth for you? How are they going to do it? So don't go to people you know cannot afford to be in this business because it's not going to make any money for you. You've got to get the people in who you know can purchase the products. <coughs> your peers are also better equipped to understand the system. When you bring your peers in, they've got a smartphone. They know how to use it. When you say download the app, this is not a crisis for them. They go to the app store, they download the app. And many of you bring people to Dewpoint who come to the front and say, now, where do I get the app from? You know how they do it. They don't walk up to you nicely and say, Brennan, can you please help me? I don't really know where the app is. They come to me like this. And I go, hi. And they go, and I go, can I help you? App. <laughs> Do you think that person is going to make you wealthy? So why have you brought them here? Your peers, however, know how to use a smartphone. They know how to download the app. They don't come to me. They've already got the app before the presentation's over. And they're ready to sign up and get cracking. They then have peers that have smartphones and know how to download apps. And, they, and now suddenly you've got this growing quality channel around you. Peers make better teams. Why? Because you have common ground. You can, you're at work together. So you can talk. You can say, ah, so-and-so let me down, but this guy's really doing well. Let's focus on this. Hey, we went there last week. Let's try here. Your peers are around you. They make much better teams. They understand the way you think. They're in the same circumstances of life as you. But you've gone, oh, no, my peers are too hard. They're going to embarrass me. They're going to laugh at me. I'm not going to... Forget about that. When your pres president tells you that once again we're in crisis, you can laugh straight back at your friends and say, shut up. Yesterday I had a fantastic example. I was actually at the Constantia's new head office, which is fantastic. They've just moved into a fantastic new head office here on William Nickel. You must go see. Super smart. And I was there and there was um, four other white folk of my peers. And I was telling them about Dew Point. And they were laughing. And I said, have I said something funny? You know, I did. You know me, I'm shameless. I said, have I said something funny to you? Four of them, about my age. Ah, oh, but Brendan, people don't do this stuff. I said, give me six months and you guys will be coming to Dewpoint. I said, six months. You'll be, all four of you will be, shut them up. Because when they saw my face and they knew that I was not joking anymore, I said to them, your business, if they were an external party to consider, your business won't be around in six months' time. And they already knew that they were starting to crumble. That's why they had come to Constantia. I said, in six months' time, you come to my office. We'll sort you out. It is not up for discussion or debate anymore. So you don't take the laughter of your peers. When the highest man in the country says, we're in crisis and I don't know how to solve it. I'm going to put a committee together to try and find a solution. Then it's not, you don't have to fear laughter of your peers anymore. There's no fear anymore. You go to them and say, shut up and sign up because you don't have a choice anymore. All right. Find people, find people who have the desire for success. I've given you this example before. It's a hard example, but it's very true. There's a lot of South Africans that are too lazy to work. Okay. You might have a brother who's unemployed and you desperately want to give him a solution to his unemployment because he's begging off of you the whole time. Most of the time, those individuals are individuals that have become unemployed because of their laziness. Okay? They haven't got out there and sought a solution. They fall back and go, oh, I'm tired and it's all right. My wife gives me this. My wife uh, runs a Bible study at the ladies' church just down here on the road. And she says, hey, ladies, come in. They're in their 60s, you know, and they, or they're in their 50s. And they say, I'm absolutely destitute. Can you please help me? Uh, you know, I need a job. Uh, you know. And so my wife says, all right, fine. Um, let's get you a job. And she'll put the message out amongst the church. And someone will say, okay, yeah, I need an admin lady. And, uh, you know, it's Monday to Friday, 8 until 5. Can I, oh, no, I'm sorry. I can't work 8 until 5. I've got my granddaughter I've got to look after. And, uh, you know, my health, my health is a problem. I can, I can really only work about two hours a week, but I'd like to be paid a full month. I kid you not. My wife has them over and over. She just stops talking to them straight away, moves on. Because those people do not have the desire for success. That's why you aim up. The guy doing better than you is the guy you want in your channel. 
My dad always used to say to me, he used to get really angry with his managers because his managers would go, it's not fair the top sales guy earns more than me. He said, my, my dad used to say to them, if the top sales guy earned more than me, I would be over the moon. Because it means my business is growing like crazy when the top sales guy is firing on all pistons. In your channels, in your asset, you want superheroes. Because they're making you wealthy. They don't, don't be uh, mad because there's some guy who's better than you at this. I mean, I, you know, I, if you guys love Rob presenting more than me, I will sit down and let Rob present, man, because it's making my business. I'm not got, I haven't got an ego that says, no, I'm the leader. You don't get to be better than me. You want to aim up at guys who are going to be amazing, and you put them in your channel. That's peer-to-peer -peer introductions. And it, it raises an interesting question around social media. The guys you connect from social media, do you know who they are? Do you know where they are? It raises very interesting quality questions around social media connections. Quality activities, okay? Connect people who can afford 249. That is an activity you got to do. Find people who can afford 249. If they can't, don't bother bringing them. Don't bother connecting them, okay? Generally, these are employed people, not unemployed people. And generally, and I don't mean to insult people, but they're not students. Students don't have any income. When I was a student, you can barely pay for petrol. You don't have 249 every month. It's generally not pensioners too. There are genuine exceptions to this, I know, but generally pensioners don't have the money or the energy to do it. Okay. And I keep it in mind. You want to be hitting your peers. All right, in this. When you sign people up as a quality activity, ensure that you are always getting their salary bank account. I know all you oaks have got more than one bank account. I only have one, but I've learned this at due point over the last half decade, that South Africans have multiple ones. There's the one for their debt repayments, which sometimes they put some money in. Then there's the one for all the schemes and scams they join. Okay, And then they just want to test like, to see if it's a scheme or a scam. Then they'll use that bank account. And then they've got the bank account they live off of, okay, which has got their salary. and all that. That's the only one I'm interested in. I'm not interested in the schemes and scams bank account, and I'm not interested in any of the others. I'm only interested in your say, and you should only be interested in it too. Because if you raise the debit order against any of these other accounts, there's never any money in it. They don't get paid, and then you go, this business doesn't work. Which is all BS, because it does work. What it required was, on the day you signed the guy up, to stand next to him and go, uh-uh, I don't want your Capitech bank account, I want your FNB bank account. Now put it in. We're not, we're not, you're not if you don't want to be at due point, don't fill the form out. Don't fill the form out if you don't want to be here. Put your salary, and then make sure that the salary payment date selected is, is I mean, the debit order date is the salary payment date that is selected. Don't, you know, nobody earns on the 8th of the month or the 13th or the 28th of the month. No, no, no. People earn on the 1st, the 15th, the 25th, and the last day. If it's not one of those dates, then you stop the person. And you go, why did you put the 6th in? Ah, uh, well, you know, I want to just see. Okay, stop. Don't bother signing up. Don't. Go back. You're either in it to win it or you're out. That's the way it is. We're talking about making channels that earn 100,000 Rand a month. We're not talking about people that make a couple hundred Rand a month and then cry that I tried dew point and it didn't work. You've got to stand next to the person filling that form out and you need to say, no, no, no. I want your salary date. The day the money comes in, that's the day that the debit order is raised because it's the only moment you know, especially until they're making money with Dupont. That's the only moment we're going to succeed in that debit order. So if you want quality in your channel, you want quality information in your application forms as well. All right. And you know what I mean when I say quality peers? Your quality peer will have an email address, which means you're not going to have to use one email address for 5,000 people. Can I tell you what happens? Very quickly we pick it up. We can't communicate with those individuals, and as fast as they came in, they lapse and fall out. And then people get excited. They get excited, oh, we're growing, we're growing. No, we're not. You're just putting junk in. Quality creates fundamentally built channels. If you're putting your own email address in for everybody, you're dead in the water. If you're having to use your cell phone number for everybody, you're dead in the water. Everybody needs a smartphone. No, they don't have a cell phone. Well, then they can't do two point. They can't. One day when you're earning 100,000 Rand a month, you can sponsor them a cell phone and you can sponsor them the first 10 months. But until then, you need to find your peers who have them, who have their own email addresses, who have their own cell phone numbers, etc., etc., etc. That's what you need in here. Uh, yeah, let's see here. Connect people who have a smartphone and access to data and a Wi-Fi. All right, why? Because everything's video. So people say to me, no, but I don't have 
data. And I go, well then, if you'd like to do dew points, you're gonna have to get data. You got two choices. I said this to the Bloemfontein people. You got two choices. One, go and get, find a free Wi-Fi hotspot. There's millions of them, they're everywhere. Just put a little effort in. Jane said this to me. Jane said, if somebody's serious about dew point, they'll get in their car or get in a taxi and find a hotspot. They're all over town. Get the hotspots where you can sit and watch the training, you can live stream, you can connect individuals to us. Your second option for getting data is buy it. Change your budget. If you're spending money on fast food and alcohol and whatever, can that stuff. When you're rich, you can buy what you like. When you're in the situation the average South African in crisis is in, can that stuff and put aside 250 to 500 bucks a month Buy the data, and wherever you are, you're connected to us now. Now you can make money. Now you can make money. What did we do in our Wealth Points program? We gave you two options. We said to you, you can get always on data at a 65% discount. How many of you have gone and got it? <laughs> one of you. Great. One. Why have the rest of you not done it? No, I want to buy data at full price. Thank you very much. When we give you the option. We also put in our Wealth Points program, Sell C recently, where we negotiated permanently with DuPont, a 10 to 20% discount on data. You can get specials at the shop, but they're for five minutes, they're on, then they're off. There. It's a permanent 10 to 20% discount on airtime and data that you can get through Cell C with us. Mm. And then I spoke to one of our big rank, um, like uh, 13s, and I said to them, why are people not buying the Cell C thing? She said, nah, my people don't buy Cell C. Vodacom and MTN only. I was like, what? Who cares what the brand is? It's still cell phone, you know, it doesn't matter. What you want is where you get the cheapest data from so that you can be connected to us. No excuse. It's 2020 in five months. Data is no longer an excuse. We're never gonna survive in the 21st century if we don't get on top of it, okay? We give you the tools. We give you the tools so that you can get quality. Quality return debit orders. Now, what I wanna talk about here is very important. One of the most um, heartbreaking things for wealth engineers is returned debit orders. That's when people don't pay, okay? And we, it's the number one reason why people quit your point. I put 20 people in and only two people paid, okay? Now there was a whole lead up to that. First of all, they didn't put their peers in. Second of all, they didn't insist on the salary account and salary debit order date, okay? That's the 18 that didn't pay. But I wanted to look at the return debit orders because it should not be an emotional thing for you. It should be a strategic thing for you. When you get a return, you can see them incidentally on your live feed. You know where your live feed is? Some of you do, the rest of you have never heard of it, okay? It's in your app, scroll to the right, your live feed comes up, shows you minute by minute what's happening in your channel. You can see the failed payments in there. You can see who they are, you can click on them, you can dial them, watch the training, it shows you. Look on your live feed. When you get the reason back not provided for, okay, or insufficient funds, you've seen those ones, okay, on your live feed, it means the person didn't have any money. Now you need to remember a couple of things. The guy will say, no, I did have 249 Rand. Yes, but the bank charges one Rand 36 for the debit order, doesn't it? Or two Rand 20 or 15 cents or something. You need to have the amount of the debit order and the fee that the bank's gonna charge you. You can't say I had exactly 249, we can't raise it. The bank won't take it because it won't have its fee money. So make sure that you have your fee money in and the debit order, then we can take the debit order from you. Okay, that's the first thing. However, Generally, these are unsalvageable. What that means is you're not going to get that person to do anything at your point. That's what it means. So when you see a guy come in and not pay particularly in his first month, move on. Move on. The person has given you a scam and scheme bank account, not his real bank account, or the person physically doesn't have the 249, it means he's not committed. He's not in this business. He doesn't care and he's already moved on. So you move on. These people are just uh, uh, are unsalvageable. What you need to do is remember the ingredients. Numbers. Numbers. So you've put a whole bunch in that didn't pay. Put more in. Some will, some will pay, some won't. Put more in. You, the numbers ingredient comes in there. Just keep connecting. Don't waste your energy on people that are not paying. Not paying, wrong quality. Okay? But you will also see in your live feed, there's the ones that say no authority to debit. Okay, now no authority to debit means that the individual's gone to the bank and said that company never had authority to debit my account. You know how those ones get me so angry. Because you filled out the form 
and you ticked the box that said, yes, I give due point authority to debit my bank account. Now you have the cheek to go to the bank and tell them I never had authority. Why don't you just call us and cancel? Hmm? Do you see South African culture? Hmm. All right, now for you as the wealth engineer, these can be saved though. There's two reasons why they've done this. One, and it's the main one, they've panicked. They've gone home and their dads told them they've joined a pyramid scheme and they've panicked and they've run to the bank and gone, don't let any debit orders come through from due point. Okay. You can go back and settle that person down again because it's not a pyramid scheme. It's not a scam. It is, in fact, their only solution. So you can approach these individuals and go, no, listen, calm down. Let's go and watch a few more things. We've got a whole lot of videos on the 10 objections, on why DuPont isn't a pyramid scheme. On all. You can show them these videos with people that are not me, you, with, with industry experts that we've had in talking about the DuPont system. Go calm them down, get them back in. They can go back to the bank and say, okay, you can lift the ban and DuPont can raise the debit orders. You can save them. The second reason is that you have incorrectly connected them. Now, this again is a social media thing. We always, and I'm still a face-to-face -face kind of guy, when you sit with a guy face to face, he buys into your belief. You believe in it, he believes in it. He's not going to put the no authority to debit. But when you've connected a guy like three rungs away from you through Facebook, he is very likely to have got the wrong message. And he thinks about it afterwards and goes, you know what, I don't want this. I don't want this. But it's okay. He is salvageable. Get a hold of him. In our app, you can click the button and dial him. Get a hold of him and say, no, no, listen. You obviously didn't get all the information. You're now thinking we're something we're not. Let's go through it again. And you can bring him back around again. So if you want to build quality channels, never mind the guys who can't pay. Focus on the guys that are failing because they've panicked or were, did not get it. Go and spend your time on them getting them back in. Okay. All right. Very important. These are activities that you need to be doing in order to succeed. And then let's talk about you. Quality you. Patrick will enjoy this section. You're going to enjoy this section, Patrick. You've got to think about quality you. Building channels of wealth is all about focus. It's about focus. You cannot build more than one channel successfully. You can build Amway successfully. You can build Herbalife successfully. You might even be able to, although not anymore because they've gone, build Long, Long Rich successfully. But you cannot build Amway, Herbalife, Long Rich, Dewpoint, KY Omega, Bitcoin, Carrot Bar, you know, you, all at once. You cannot. It does not work. Please find me someone who has succeeded and is multi-millionaire off of the back of multiple channels. It is a physical impossibility. We've got wealth engineers that do this. You go to their Facebook sites. Every week, they'll connect someone to Dewpoint. But you go to their Facebook site and they're doing five networks. They will never succeed. They will never I can assure you they will never succeed. I have never in globally ever found an example of somebody who was able to succeed at multiple channels at one time. You need to pick one. Pick anyone. I don't care. You can pick Amway. You can pick Herbalife. You can pick Bitcoin and Carrot Bar. I don't care. Just pick one and put your time and energy into it. What you do by having multiple channels is you erode your legitimacy. You erode it. People lose all respect for you. They lose respect for you. Don't believe me? It happens. Building integrity, trust, and legitimacy can only be done at once. If you look at our big rankers here, they've had hundreds of people come to them and say, please come here with me. Please come here. Pumi was showing me the other day. Some guy's like, well done, Pumi, on all your success at Dewpoint. You should come join me here. And Pumi's like, there is no other things. There is only Dewpoint. And so her channel watched this, because this was happening on her Facebook page. Her channel watched this interaction. And what happens is they get reinforced into due point. And she succeeds. If she was like, oh, do a bit of due point and do a bit of KY and do a bit of this and do a bit of that, no one would respect her. And they would say, but now where is she? I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing here? You've got to be focused. Pick one and commit your life to it. Not this year, not the six months. Your life to it. That is what time and numbers equals. Be consistent and be dependable. When you flick from one thing to the next, you're not dependable. Then your friend made you lose money there. Now he's made you lose money here. Now he wants you to go here. You're not going to go a third time to lose money again, or are you? 
How many of you have hopped to four or five networks just this year alone? And not made a cent. Dew point is not one of those things. We're tired of watching South Africans lose money. We're tired of it. Here you put your roots down. The next shiny thing is coming. At the moment, I think it's this KY Omega. That's fine, okay? Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. I, I don't know. But what it does do is it distracts everybody. I don't know, we need to run there. And then it's gone in 6 to 12 months. I mean, it might not be, but generally, 6 to 12 months, it's gone. And then you're left in the lurch again. And then the next thing comes, and you're after that. Are we children in South Africa? When are we going to stop running and actually sink roots down? And when they wave the shiny flag at you, you go, you're just another one of those things, and I'm building my channel here. I'm building it here. We have to change our culture in South Africa if we want to go from a culture of poverty to a culture of wealth. We have to. Look at the most wealthy people on earth. Have they run from business to business to business? Or have they spent their whole lives building IBM, Microsoft, Apple? Those guys weren't bouncing around. They put 40, 50 years into building their businesses. And you can bet people came to them with opportunities. But they said, no, here's where my roots are sunk down. Okay. Wealth is only ever created with focus, time and numbers. If you don't have focus, time goes out the window because you're not spending enough time on one thing. You're splitting it across all of them. Focus, focus. One of the things people have said to me on this, people have fought with me on this. I've chatted to a couple of my big rankers that have got guys that are doing this in their channel and try and defend them. They've said, but Brendan, the guy needs cash and he can't get cash from due point. So he's doing that while building Dew Point until Dew Point's big enough so that he doesn't need the cash anymore. It doesn't work. And what does Pumi say? If you need cash, join Dew Point. What do we have? Our Achievers Quest every month, 5, 10, 15. These guys that are wasting their time on the other networks, if they put it into Dew Point, they could get 15 grand a month from us. Straight out the gates, 15 grand plus returns and rewards. How many months would it take at 30 people a month before you'd be earning big money at Dew Point? But then Pumi says, but maybe you don't want cash. Maybe you want a monthly income. Join your point. But maybe you don't want a monthly income. Maybe you want recurring income. Join your point. Maybe though, you want sustainable lifetime intergenerational wealth. Great. Join your point. All in one. Dew point. When I saw that on Pumi's Facebook site, I'm like, right, that's going to become Dew point's first official quote. <laughs> there is nothing in the country that does what Dew point does. No, I need cash. Join Dewpoint. No one can argue it is beyond educated debate now. Dewpoint caters for everything. It caters for everything. This is your last stop on the bus route. Right here. Now it's time to put the roots down if you're going to build a quality channel. In our program, we drive quality by saying that every month that you achieve 100% in your BPQ, that's 100% paid on your first and second points. If you can get everybody on your first and second points to pay, then you get 10,000 XP every month that it happens. Can you get your first and second point all to pay? Only if you've built quality. And if you build quality, you'll get that. 10, 000, that's 120,000 XP a year that you can get just from that one line item. So that takes us to pillar three. If we've got us active and we've got the right quality, then growth comes. What is growth? Growth starts with you. You've got, if you are not introducing, your channel doesn't grow. I've met, I said it before, I'm saying it again. What's growth? My channel's not growing. Are you introducing people? No. Again, the lady I was talking to this, this week, she said, Brendan, I've introduced five people this year and I call them every week begging them to put people in. And I've got you put five people in in eight months? Well, of course your five people are not going to grow. You're not introducing. It's you. You are the one that does it. It is the lifeblood of all growth is you. You're the heart at the, at the middle of all the growth that you're going to want. When you stop, growth stops. It does. I can tell you right now. Set the example from the top. Go again. I don't know how to do it, Brendan. I don't know. Are you asking me to connect people every day? I don't know how to do it. Great. Go and watch Prospecting, Inviting, Connecting, Development Seminar. And we'll teach you how to do it. Go and watch that video and you'll know how to do it. Three plus two. Three plus two is an interesting thing. You've all heard about it, but you all completely ignore it, don't you? Ah, he's going through 3 plus 2 again. When will this introduction presentation end? I just want to sign the guy up and go home. 3 plus 2 is probably the most powerful growth formula that we could think of when we built Dewpoint. And it's proven true over the last nearly half decade. 
What it says is you've got to put three people in your first month. Solid, paid individuals. Now, I need you to go back and look at your channels. You'll say, Brennan, but I put 10 people in last month. I'll say, how many paid? And you'll go, oh, no, only one paid. Well, then you didn't put three people in last month, did you? You put one in. That means you were already behind on this curve. Then I say, you've got to put two people in every month thereafter. And you say, but Brendan, I'm putting four people in a month. I say, but how many paid? No, I only get one, sometimes none, maybe. So now you're not doing three plus two. You did one and maybe one or one and naught. You are falling behind already in the mathematics. Well, why is three plus two powerful? Well, first of all, those three personal introductions do a whole bunch of things for you. What do they start with? They get you qualified, don't they? Which means you are earning. It means you can earn in your first month with us if you put three people in. That's why we say, in your first month with us, put three people in. By putting three people in and getting paid, what do you become? A qualified wealth engineer? But more than that, you become a believer. You're now a believer. Oh, DuPont actually put money in my bank account. They said they would and they did. Now a promise has become a reality. This is critically important for the psychology of you and your wealth engineers. The moment the money comes in, they're now believers. Okay? Now believers go and grow, don't they? Putting in the two the next month, okay, means that you are now building points. If you put three people in a stop, you won't be qualified for long. But by keeping two in, you start digging out those guys that will build for you. Two in, two in, two in. Some will, will build, some won't, but you'll find your builders in there. More importantly, though, it caters for immediate wealth engineer qualification. We mentioned it. You put your three in, you get qualified. I'm going to talk about the rest now. And, of course, it results in a lightning qualifier. In our XP Rewards program, there's one called lightning qualifier. Okay, now what does that mean? Well, for you, when you put someone in and you get them qualified, they do some more things for you. Okay, you introduce someone who gets qualified. First of all, they become believers. So potentially you've now got a builder in your channel. But they also become another qualified wealth engineer on your first point, which opens another point in your channel of earnings, doesn't it? So by putting in a single guy and getting him qualified, you could potentially earn in another entire line of wealth in your channel. Everyone you add on your first points opens another channel, opens another point, opens another point, and your earnings get greater and greater. Now, how fast would you like to open your points? Do you want to put guys in on your first point and let them sit there for months? Or would you like to get a guy in, get him qualified in the month that you put him in, so that he becomes a believer and in the same month opens another point in your channel? I see a lot of dazed and confused looking people at me. You guys need to come to a launch, launch workshop. In a launch workshop, we teach you how to open points in your channel. You'll understand me better. For the rest of you, I hope you understand what I'm saying. Qualified wealth engineers, you want every month. So if you put two people in and get one qualified every month, it means that every month you're opening a point in your channel. But also, every month you're building another believer in your channel. Three plus two is incredibly powerful in the growth of your channel. Are you doing it? Or are you running around doing nothing? What Rob was in the other days on leave, but he popped in and he said to me, Brendan, I looked at the movers and shakers. We had five or six guys who qualified from the achievers, but on the movers and shakers, we had about 20 guys that did more than 20 people last month. And I went, yeah, but none of them got 10. And he said, what do you mean? No, they put 20 in and eight paid, four paid, six paid, seven paid, nine paid, two paid, one paid. Who are you putting in? that you spend all that time putting 20, 30 people in a month and less than 10 pay. What are you going to do now going forward? You're going to stand next to that guy when he fills the application form out. You're going to make sure he puts his salary bank account in and his salary date in. You're going to make sure he's got a smartphone and can afford data. You're going to make sure he's a peer of yours that understands the system and has the 249 rand or 299 to pay every month. Or you're not. Otherwise, how disappointed do you get at the end of every month when you've done all that work and nobody pays. How disappointed. Are we going to do this right or are we going to do this wrong? How come Patrick and Pumi are always getting the Achievers Quest? They always used to get the Wealth Quest. They always used to. Because they put 20 people in and 18 pay. That's the big difference. Where's Zenobia? Zenobia's not here, but Zenobia's dad's here. I saw Zenobia's dad. He was in the crowd earlier this morning. He's coming up on his fourth month of getting the Achievers Quest. Do you know how many people he put in last month? Twelve. Nothing special. We had people that put 34 in. Of the 12, 11 paid. But we had a guy who put 34 in last month and 6 paid. (laughs) 
So Zenobia's dad walks away for the fourth month in a row with five grand. He's put in in four months the same number as that guy did in one month, but he got 20 grand and the other guy got nothing. Are you going to start playing this game differently? Instead of trying to just shove everybody in, run the taxi down the street, we've had it. Guys are run the taxi down the street picking people up. All the guys that are begging at the intersections, pick them all up, come fill the room here. We do an intro presentation, they all sign up, 80 sign ups. One person pays. We have to play this game differently and you need to start focusing on simple things like three plus two. I need three people in, I need three people paid. I need to tackle my peers. I need to tackle my peers. If you can do that, everything changes. How long is it gonna take for you guys to succeed at, your point at doing three plus two? I do the journey, but you guys don't register the numbers. What we have happening is people coming in and going, uh, I, and there's a lady that was here for a couple of months and I haven't seen her now for two or three months because she's given up. I know she's given up. She came in and she said, Brendan, I'm gonna be ranked nine in three months. And I went, no, you're not. Because I'm like that, you know me, I just tell you straight. I said, no, you're not. And she said, no, I am. Don't steal my dream, Brendan. I'm stealing your dream. You're not going to be ranked nine in three months. It is almost impossible. You need to put some, you need to put five years in. No, it's too long. She said to me, Brendan, it's too long. Five years is too long. This is happening right now. Watch, I'll show you. I haven't seen her for two months now because she has quit. After three months, she wasn't even ranked one because she was doing it all wrong. Okay, but nonetheless, nonetheless, if you understand how long it's going to take, then you can rest your emotion. When you think it's going to happen straight away, you panic and quit when it doesn't happen. So let's rest your emotion. How long do you think it takes to get to rank four if you're doing three plus two? That's three paid plus two paid plus two paid plus two paid each month. Well, let's look. Here it is. Okay, rank one is going to take two months. Rank two, four months. Rank three, seven. Rank four, nine months. All of you thought you were going to be in rank four by the end of this month, didn't you? It's nine months. You see, now what happens is people like go, no, well, then I quit. And I go, but why? None of my promises have changed. The holiday, the car, the 365 challenge, the achievers quest, none of that. I have taken none of that away from you. You just thought you were going to be there. And I'm saying, no, you won't be there. You'll be here, but you'll still get all the same stuff. So don't panic that you're not ranking up like crazy. Put the time in. Put the time. It's going to take you nine months. So if you join today, guys, it's nine months and you'll be ranked four. Not rank nine, rank four. If you go faster, if you put more than three plus two paid in, like Patrick and Pumi and Zenobia's dad and that, he's putting in 11 paid a month. He's going to be rank four in two months. But that's hard for everybody to do. So don't panic. Just keep putting the numbers in. Get better. Do better quality. Approach more difficult people. And build slowly. And it'll happen. It'll happen. Okay. Then, how long now to get us to rank nine? Let's see. Rank nine. There's rank five. It's 10 months. 12 months to rank six. A year and two months. A year and four months. A year and seven months. So let's call it 18 months. 18 to 19 months is how long it'll take you to go to rank nine. All right. Now, you've heard me. I ask the people here in the audience. I say, would you be willing to work for three years to go on a five-star holiday with your family for the rest of your life? And people go, no. They say no to me. You've seen them in the audience. They go, no. Three, no ways. This lady that I was talking to said, no ways. She said, no. It's either happening now or I'm walking. And I said, well, you might as well start walking now before burning yourself out. <laughs> but she did. She then went burnt herself out, which I told her not to do, and then left. Would you be willing, if your employer on Monday came to you and said, listen, work for me for 18 months and every year, for the rest of your life after that, I'll take you and your family away. Business class, five star, every year. Every year when you wake up on the 1st of January, you know that I'll pay for a holiday that December for you. Would you work 18 months for him? You all already have, and he hasn't given you anything. But you're all going back on Monday morning despite the fact that there are no promises from him. Why would you quit after five months then at due point? Why would you quit after 50 people letting you down? This is mathematical. It just says keep adding two, add two, add two, add two. Some will do, some won't do. Just keep adding. And 18 months down, you're there. You're there. But how many of you are going to quit in the next six months? How many? Because there's something stupid like someone laughing at you or not paying. And you go, I can't do this. I give up. When all we said is just keep connecting people. How long does it then take for you to get the car? Let's have a look there. Two years and five months. 
You willing to work for two years and five months for a brand new car? All right, I wanted, I, we need, again, we need a camera in the front here that takes a picture of the audience that says yes. <laughs> so that I can remember you when you quit. Well, why do you quit? For the stupidest reasons. For the stupidest reasons. I quit because you don't have an office in my city. And I'm like, but I do. It's right here on your phone. 24 hours a day. You've got me right here. I don't need bricks and mortar. It's the 21st century. And if the person says, I won't believe you until I see their offices, you can say, welcome to 1990. I'm in 2020. Goodbye. The world is not built out of bricks and mortar anymore, ladies and gentlemen. It's built online. That's where it's built. People that ask you for an office are not the right peer level. So remember your Achievers Quest. It's growth. Ten people a month is going to accelerate you far faster than two people a month. Put them in, pick the right people, and make sure they pay. If that's what happens, you're then going to go five times faster than three plus two. Five times faster. So instead of making 19 months, you'll get there in six months or eight or nine months. Instead of taking two and a half years to get a car, you'll get there in a year, a year and a half. It's incredible how it escalates and speeds up. Use the Achiever's Quest for growth. The whole business is built on these three pillars. The whole business on these three pillars for you. In your rewards program, how are we getting you to do growth? At least five new apps paid successfully in a single month. Get five in. If you can't get 10 in, get five in. Five is better than two. So get five in and we'll give you 2,000 XP every month you do it. Okay. In fact, I think it gets more because as it goes to start two and three, it goes up and down. Lightning qualifier. Get a guy in and get him qualified in the same month. Why? Because it opens a point of earnings for you and it creates a believer in your channel. We will give you 4,000 XP for everybody that you do that for. For everybody that you do that for. Three plus two. Can you achieve three plus two in your first six months with us? Can you get the three in and then the two and the two and the two for six months? Because if you do, we'll give you 6,000 XP. It's there to just encourage you to grow, okay? Who's the boss? Add more senior colleagues to your channel. If there's managers and bosses above you, go sign them up. You get 10,000 XP for each one that you sign up. And what are you doing? You're building greater quality, which will result in greater growth in your channel. Get the people who are, are superstars in your channel. All right, now growth, of course, we all want duplication for the ultimate growth. That's the big word. I, you know, let's get the guys you put in to duplicate what you do. Okay, there's quite a lot to talk around that. First of all, obviously your long-term sustainability is dependent on duplication. You in the long term can't build your own channel. It's just physically impossible. You want others to build it for you in many senses. That's the long-term goal. So we need to get it. Focusing on your first and second points is the first step in duplication. Lots of you guys want to try and tackle guys further down. It doesn't work. Stick to your guys, get them qualified, make sure that everybody that goes in becomes a grower and a believer. That will be the first step in getting your duplication right. Keep everybody active by setting the active example. Come to presentations. When you don't come to presentations, your channel doesn't come. Can you, when you're watching us live, can you see your channel? Can you see them? No, you can't. At least when you're here, you can go, hey, where are you guys? I'm at the presentation every week. I want to see you here with your guests. Because uh, like you say, we say we hide behind the camera. We do. I say don't hide behind the stream. Because people hide. There are people right now that should be in this room, but they're hiding behind the stream. They are. Ah, oh, drive out on a Saturday morning. Okay, well, you don't have to if you don't want to be rich. If you do want to be rich, get your butt here. If you're out of town, get your house open. Lynette lives down in the Val. Every presentation she's on, she's got 10 people in the room with her. She sends you pictures. You can ask her afterwards. She never sits and watches by herself. You know you're not getting richer watching me by yourself. No. Every time I see Lynette's teams, she's got a team of people in her room watching us live because she can't get to Joburg every day. If you're outside of Gauteng, I understand. Get your house open. Get your people in. Book a venue. Whatever it might be. Get active. And that will set the example for growth and training and et cetera, et cetera, when you're live like that. Work as a team. Everybody can succeed when you've got a team. Get your guys together. Find your builders. Work with them. And the example that you set is the example that's going to duplicate. Okay. But what we have discovered, of course, is the harder you push someone, the less likely they're going to duplicate. Especially guys that are just, you're going to have product owners and you're going to have builders. You go to a product owner and you beat him over the head, that's not going to get him to duplicate. You've got to find the builders and beat that one over the head. Beat them while they're building. Faster, faster! You know, Because they're the ones that build. The others are not going to work. All right. So, how do we activate duplication? 
How do we activate duplication? First of all, this is what I believe, and I've done quite a bit of research in the last couple of weeks about it, and I think I'm right. Most people are supporting my view. Duplication can only occur face to face. I know the guys on social media are going to hate me for this. Channel building, permanent, successful, sustainable channels can't be built remotely. They just can't. You've got to create it with relationship. That's the wonderful thing about network marketing. It's actually community. You build community. And you will find friends that will become lifetime friends that you would never have made outside of Dewpoint. It's community. And so when you find these guys who start sparking, you've got to create relationship with them. You've got to get a hold of them. They might be around the country. Then do Skype calls. Do phone calls. Try and meet up once or twice a year. Form the relationship. That's what will activate the duplication in your channel for you. All right. Communication is critical. Are you talking to your teams daily, weekly, monthly? Are you meeting with your teams daily, weekly, monthly? When you meet and when you communicate, you keep everyone alive. It's like stoking the fire. Set up WhatsApp groups. Talk every day to each other. Keep building. And you will activate duplication. Duplication doesn't have a silver bullet. This is what people come to me all the time. And it's the reason, even this lady that's gone now for the last two months, she kept coming to me. She held me here Saturday after Saturday until 2, 2.30, saying, Brendan, tell me the formula. What is the formula to get my guys to build? There isn't a formula. There is those that will, and there are those that won't. You just can't train them. You can't fashion them. You can't nothing. Your example is what will be duplicated by those that duplicate. Your example, okay. But those that duplicate cannot be made. You c it's like leadership. You can't train leadership. That's a very non-PC thing to say. But you can't. You're either a leader or you aren't. It's not something that can be taught. I mean, imagine trying to teach people to all be Nelson Mandela. You can't. You see, people are like, no, you can. I go, really? Can you be Winston Churchill? Can you be Jan Smuts? Can you be Nelson Mandela? Could you be even Hitler? You know, you can't teach leadership. People, it's their circumstances, their upbringing, it's their DNA. It's a whole lot of things you can't teach. They just are leaders or they aren't, okay? It's the same with duplicators. Duplicators are born. They're not made, okay? They're in there. You're all duplicators because you're here. And you know, nobody taught you to be a duplicator. You just are, okay? You can't identify them. Brendan, who do I talk to who you know will build? I have no idea. It could be the guy who helps you in the garden, or it could be your boss. Or it could be the tea lady, or the guy in the post room, or your manager. I have no idea. But one of them could be the next level, uh, rank 28. You know, you don't know who they are, okay? You can't categorize them, and you can't target them. So again, you start with your peers, boy, and you hit every personality. That guy's a sales guy, I'm hit him. That lady's definitely not a salesperson. Let's hit her. Because you don't know who it's going to be. It's not something that you can train. The only thing you can control is yourself. And that means you've got to put the numbers in over time. And as you do, the duplicators will float to the surface. They'll float to the surface. You can't teach them. You can't train them. Man, we have tried at due point to teach them and train them. And boy, have we failed. And then we realized, hang on, this growing group of duplicators we have, we did nothing for them. They just came in and started building. And that's who you're looking for. You're not going to be able to identify them. And so, for those that will duplicate, duplication is created by people replicating the behavior you practiced with them. So you don't know who they are. So again, your team meetings. Gather up your teams. You don't know who the builders are. And practice with them. How do we do that? You come to the office. You open your house. You bring them in and you say, bring your guest and I will show you how to do this. And you bring them in and the first time you have a process that you practice with them. And you practice it two or three times. Then you make them do it. Okay? You can't do that hiding behind the stream. Going, I hope my team's there tonight. You need to practice duplication with them so that they learn and start doing it. Establish something that's easy and duplicatable. A whole bunch of you have got some beautiful techniques. Beautiful ones. You talk to Patrick, he's got a technique. You talk to Nick. Nick was here earlier this morning. I don't know if he's still here. Nick has got a process. And he says, here's your three-step process. And he'll practice that process with you. And when you do it with your groups of guys, your duplicators will pop out. And they'll start doing what you do. And your culture and your growth and your channel will start Practice it with them, guys. 
Not like here, I've emailed you the process. Read it and go do it. No, you've got to do it with them. Come to the office on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Get your guys in practice. Open your house and get them into your house and say, bring guests and I'll show you. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's do it. Okay, now you do it. Now you do it. Practice that duplication together. Here's a couple of warnings around growth. Two warnings around growth. Don't be exhausted. We're making money. You should be excited. I'm excited. <laughs> Everyone else is like, oh, it's never going to end. <clears throat> I hope the wealth never ends. Okay, two warnings. Just two about growth. One of them is focus and cross-lining. I get too much of this, and I don't like it. So-and-so said this on Facebook. I thought we weren't allowed to say it. How come I can't say it when they can say it? So-and-so is doing this. He's, he's doing this down in the Eastern Cape. Brendan, are you aware? Do you know that that's what he's doing? Why are you wasting so much energy trying to pick holes in others? Forget about what everybody else is doing. Focus on yourself. Focus. Stop sending me WhatsApps and emails. I don't care. Focus on yourself. Focus your time on growth, not criticism. Now, this is important for your channel too. You need to refocus. You need to refocus them. You can, if there's some major issue, email us. Fine. I agree. Email us if you identify some major, major breach. Okay. But the rest of the time, stick to your process. Get your guys on the WhatsApp group complaining. Ah, Brendan said we can't do this, but my friend's just done it. You go, stop worrying about your friend. Get back into our process, whatever your process might be. Get back into our process. Refocus them. Refocus the communication back from criticism to growth. Focus on it. You'll see it happens a lot. You get the people coming, oh, this new thing that's just floated in from Thailand. We need to all move there. You go, shut up. There are no other options other than dew point. There are none. Focus back on us. Don't get distracted by the next shiny thing. Focus, focus. No cross-lining. Never mind what the other channels are doing. Do not allow wasted energy in your channel. There's too much of it. Guys come in, oh, I'm moaning, and this guy, this, you know, stop moaning. What do we know? Time and numbers. A lot of people are going to let you down. Stop moaning about them. Just keep connecting. We will find our duplicators. We'll find our builders. That's it. And then, you, you know, are you folk, did you get the salary bank account? Did you get the salary debit order? Is he your peer? If your answer is no to any of those questions, you know you didn't put quality in. Stop crying about them. Go and get quality now in your channel. Focus your energy on it. Warning number two. What have I got here? There's no, fa and there's no, and no favoritism at your point. Brendan, how come you allow them to do it, but I'm not allowed to do it? I don't know. It's the same standard. Code of conduct, same for everybody. There's no favoritism. Okay? Everybody's exactly the same here at two point. Warning number two, data capturers. These are my client service team's favorite. We've got very good at them over the last couple of years. So we get them in. They're generally network hoppers. So they have their book. It's a paper written book normally with everybody's private and personal details in that they've gathered up over years of hopping from network to network. And we'll see them. Someone, unknowing normally, will sign one up. And suddenly we'll just see our production go. Every two minutes that person will have logged someone in, which is physically impossible. How do you put a person in every two minutes for eight hours? And we'll go, yep, we got a data capture. This person has fraudulently entered in and agreed to the terms and conditions of due point on behalf of 80, 100, 200, 1,000 people. We've had it all. Our system now, we now have daily production monitoring. Within minutes, we're watching it. We're watching it. We're minutes, we're on it, and we stop it in its tracks. What is the response of wealth engineers to us when we stop data capturers? It's been very interesting. We've had very angry wealth engineers call us. One of them called us in and said, you guys are so unprofessional, and I'm sick and tired of you. No, no, gave us hell. That's all that happens to the client service team. They're always getting lambasted for something. Um, and we said, what do you mean we're unprofessional? Oh, this guy's putting numbers into your business. and da -da -da. No, he's not. He's putting No one collects. Those things never collect. Never. Because all the bank account details have already been banned and blocked before because they've been data capturing them for years. You know, there's no money coming in. This wealth engineer is just excited to see numbers coming in on his live feed. But it's nothing. What do we do with guys like this? Well, first of all, it's illegal. So it's normally as a result of social connection, social media connection. We see it. It doesn't come from an office connection. It comes from some guy remotely triggers a, so, a, a, a data capture and bang, he starts going. Large numbers are captured in a single day. This is a significant reputational and regulatory risk for us. These people are capturing other people's bank account details and agreeing to debit orders. It is a big issue for us. So we take it absolutely serious. The first thing that we do is we get a hold of the data capture. 99 out of 100 times he doesn't answer the phone. 
I had such a laugh. A couple of weeks ago, we did, after a month, manage to track down one of the data captures. And we said, we've sent you emails. We've sent you SMSs. We've called you. We've left voice notes. We've done everything to try and get a hold of you. Why didn't you answer us? No, I've been too busy to take your phone calls, he said to us. And I said, well, I'm too busy to have you as a wealth engineer. Suspended. You know, it's just, it's, we, are we children? Are we children? Or are we serious about making wealth? This is the thing. So we contact them immediately. If we can't contact them, we contact the lead wealth engineer. Sometimes we do both anyway to say, hey, you've got an oak who's doing this. You better get a hold of him and get him right. We don't want to just suspend everybody. Get a hold of him and say, hey, stop doing it. Let's do it right. Maybe you can turn him around, okay? If we don't succeed in any of that, we immediately suspend that wealth engineer. That means he can never, ever be a wealth engineer at Dewpoint again. You need to understand that. Given that Dewpoint is the only solution for South Africans, these individuals have decided that they want to permanently block themselves from that solution. And that's what we do. We take it very seriously. We suspend them and then we cancel everything that is captured in our system. We go through and we just clean it out. So it doesn't exist. And then we get wealth engineers that call in and tell us we're unprofessional. Now I'm afraid that you're unprofessional if you want a data capture in your business. Avoid them. Jump on them. Watch your live feed. I think I say here. Watch your live feed. If you see a guy going tick, 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 jump on him and go, dude, what are you doing? You can't load three people in six minutes. That's impossible. And then he'll go, ah, shut up. I'm doing this. There you go. No, thank you very much. Then you can call us and we'll block him. Otherwise, you might go, oh, but I thought that that was what we were meant to be doing. And then you can go, no, no, no. This is the right way to do it. Let's do it properly. And you bring him around. Okay. Just make sure. Those are your two warnings on growth that we have. All right. So lastly, Let's get plugged in. If we're going to do this properly, three things, personal activity, quality growth, then we need to be plugged into the system. We've got this beautiful app. Most of you are not using it. Okay, we laugh. I get, my IT guy does a search. 50% of our app users are still using the old version, version one. Not even the new version that we've updated since. 50% are still using the old version. Update your app. If you don't know how to use our app, watch the training videos, guys. They're there. You've got the mobile app and dashboard. It'll teach you everything about you need to know about the app. And you've got our XP Rewards program to show you those steps that I was showing you. All those things, this teaches you how to do it, where to find it. New wealth engineers, make sure they download the app immediately. If they can't, you've got to ask yourself the quality question. Hang on a second. What do you mean you can't put the app on your phone? Oh, I don't have the phone. My phone doesn't do apps. No, no. Now you've got a quality question. You've got a quality question. Ask yourself it. Favorite Dewpoint's websites on their web browsers. Many people are not using our website. Our website has a whole lot of stuff on it that the app doesn't have and vice versa. Go into their phones, go to the Google, search Dewpoint.net, click favorite. Now the guy can go and find Dewpoint every single time. Do little things like this to make you very different. Is your app updated? When last did you update the Dewpoint app? We've had at least three updates I know in the last month of a whole bunch of extra stuff. You guys would have heard that in Family Wealth, we've extended cover now to parents, in-laws, and grandparents. You can't put them in the application form until you update your app. So update your app if you'd like to add these people to Family Wealth. But crying in a bucket, every week you should be checking that. Are you plugged into our calendar? What's the next major event? Who can tell me what the next, next major event is at your point? Tell All Tuesday. See, this is why Lynette gets the big money, the holidays, and the cars. Okay, because she knows. Are you plugged into the app? Do you know that our next event is Tell All Tuesday? When is it? It's not this Tuesday. It's next Tuesday. It's in here. Plug in and get going. The Dewpoint products. Do you know the products? Do you know the product you have? Are you using it? Are you engaged with it? There's a development seminar that looks like that. There is a family wealth product. You don't need to call. Come quickly jump in here. There are these two videos that are on your app right now that you can watch. They're on your app right now that you can watch. Are you in there? Okay. Read the product documents. How many of you have sat down and read your policy document? Yeah, one of you. Excellent. One person in the whole room. Why have you not read your product documents? Yeah. You read it too. Marius read it and he's blind. So I don't know what's wrong with the rest of you. All right. Read the policy documents. Okay. Read the policy documents. And if you have questions, which we want, we want you to ask questions. I don't understand. I've got this product and it says this and this. What does that mean? Call client service. We'll explain it to you. If you and I say it after watching the training video. Don't call them before. They'll just send you straight to the training video if you haven't watched it. But if after you've watched it, you've got a question, call us. And then know where to find the answers. Why am I telling you this? Because if we're going to get growth and duplication, you need to be the source of the answers. Because you're setting the example, are you not? If people come to you and you go, I don't know, let's go talk to Brendan, which I get a lot. Brendan, my guest, has questions. And I'm like, what are the questions? How much is access wealth? 
and look at the wealth engineer and go, you brought him all over here for me to tell him how much the product is? You need to be the source of the answers. So have you watched the training and have you read the document? So when people ask you questions, you can go, it's this much. Who can I cover? You can cover so and so and so and so. Those, you're allowed to answer those questions. You don't sell my products, but you can answer the, the factual questions. You know? you know, what's the difference between access wealth and wealth card? Okay, well, this one's a million rands with a personal action cover. That's an investment account in 120,000. You can do that, but you can only do that if you're an expert. Okay, and stay up to date with the product changes. They don't happen often. I can't even, there's like one or two, but like this thing where we've extended the cover on family wealth. They happen. Make sure you're up to date on what's happening. Two point documentation. I wanted to put this in because I wanted to check how many of you know where to find stuff. Your product documents, do you know where to find them? Are you not allowed to answer? You're doing too well. You know stuff. Where do you find your product documents? Do you know where to find them? On the app. Mm, on the app where? The menu button. The three, the burger button. That's right. Okay, great. Where do you find your investment statements? No, no, no. Where in the, that menu do you find the best statements? No. No, it doesn't. That's not where you find the investment statements. You're going to go under my account. My account shows you where the investment is. Where do you find your balance, your investment balance? No, not the same. You go under the menu and you go to access wealth and your investment is there. Under my account is the statements, access is there. Returns and rewards statements, where do you find those? Do you know that we give you, we issue a statement every month for the returns and rewards that you earn. They're under my account. Okay. Wealth Engineer Code of Conduct, do you know where that is? Where do you find it? Under my account. All right, it's in there. Where to find them? Watch this video, mobile and website. and Go and watch it. We show you where they are so that you know where stuff is because people don't know. If you want to earn a couple hundred rand a month, you don't need to know these things. If you want to earn a hundred thousand rand a month, you need to know these things. Okay. There's a section called My Account on our website that I'll bet you none of you have ever seen. My Account on our website is completely different to My Account on the app. And it has far more comprehensive information about you on there. You can change your passwords on here. You can pull statements. You get tax statements on your investments and on your returns that you can submit to SARS. You've got all sorts of stuff. We have investment notices we put up for you and all sorts of things. Have you been there? Go to our website, dewpoint.net, favorite it in your browser and the browser of all your new wealth engineers and teach them where to find stuff. Teach them where it is. Do you know that we built this office, we custom built it for our wealth engineers. When I built this business with Rob, we sat down and we said, how do we build an office that our wealth engineers can use? We said two things, it must look like a private bank. Why? Because we don't want to look like a pyramid scheme, a scam, a next thing from Thailand. Exactly, exactly. We don't want to look like a garage startup. You know, all these people come here and ah, you know, what are you guys? You're just another one. No, we're not. We want to look different. And then we wanted to have the facilities that you could use. Our breakaway rooms, they sit empty all week long. They have free Wi-Fi in them. There's tea and coffee available to people all week long. Why are you not using our offices? Why? Do you think that people would be impressed in your house or in our offices? Hmm? Why are we not? Why do we not, on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, why is there only 20, 30, 40 of you? Why do we not have 120 on a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? Where are you? But I look at the stream, and we have two, three, four hundred people watching on the stream every presentation. Why are you not here? How do you set the example from behind the screen? How are you going to do it? Come and use what we've built for you. Come and get serious about building wealth with us. Get serious about it. Don't tell me Dewpoint doesn't work when you haven't got serious about it. We built in to the program things to encourage you to build with us. We've got our team leader. Host a team meeting with your first pointers. Communication and meeting, face-to-face, -face. duplication. Encounter. Attend a Dewpoint Encounter conference. Every time you come down, you get 10,000 XP. How many encounters have you come to? Those are the ones we do in Bloomfontein in case you don't have you. What example are you setting? Team works meetings. When last did you call into Jane and say, Jane, I want a teamworks meeting with Brendan and Rob? What is a teamworks meeting? It's where we, Rob and, and me, do a personal training session with your team alone. Do you know how much it costs? It's 10,000 Rand a session. <laughs> it's free. You can book it. Jane looks in our diary. We book it in. You can come and sit here. I think I've, I've done two in two weeks for Patrick and Pumi's teams. 20, 20, 30 people in each one. 
We stick them in and I do a private training session with their wealth engineers. You can do it. You see, if you guys had read through the rewards like I asked you to do, you would have read this one and gone, what, I can call and book with Brendan or Rob? And you would have done it. Now it's like new news to you because you haven't done the training. You haven't plugged in. You haven't set the example. But you're telling us, oh, it's so hard, Brendan. Nobody wants to duplicate. You've got to get plugged in and get serious now. Generator, participate in generator's leaderships. When you go rank four, come to every, uh, once a quarter, we do a generator's meeting where we do specialized leadership training. Leadership training for our rank fours and above. Get to rank four so that you can start coming to our leadership workshops. When you get to rank nine, you then go to channel mastery um, sessions, which we do once a month with our rank nines and above. All this stuff doesn't even exist in your world yet, but it exists at due point already. You've heard me say, are you spectating or are you participating? Get to rank four and start joining us on these sorts of things. Okay, got the tools for professionals. Amateurs that only want less than five grand a month, great. But if you want more, get the tools. Don't think that we make money off of this, we don't. Have you got your pins? We've got the pins. Rank fours and above, have you bought your pins? Have you got them? Rank ones, twos and threes and fours, have you got your pins? Okay, have you got the tools? Have you got the shirts? Have you got the business cards? Go get them. You're right here, you can pick them up right now. Go get them or order them. And if you're around the country, go to our store and order them. Get the tools if you want to get serious about this business. You've got everything for you. We've given it all to you. So ladies and gentlemen, I am looking forward to finding those of you that come out of the mire and become rank 10s, 11s, 12s, 25s, 28s with us over the next two decades. I really look forward to finding you. The amount of lives we're going to change is amazing. It is amazing. But it's going to be those that want to change lives, including their own, that are going to do this. It's simple. It's going to start with you. It's going to start with you. You're going to make decisions to be active, to put the miles and time in, and to, correct, and to select the right quality. When you do that, you're going to see growth. You're going to see growth here at Point, And you're going to see a life that's worth living with us here at Point. I hope that helps. Get it to your wealth engineers. When you leave here today, if they were hiding or away, get them to watch it. It's on YouTube. It'll be on your tools button in your app in about an hour's time. Make sure that you use it. And let's really make the second half of this year amazing, guys. Let's make it amazing. Don't go home now and put your feet up and relax. Go home and think about what you're going to do to make it yourself rich. And then get out there and connect people. Let's go and do it. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you Tuesday. <laughs>